In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most important questions you've been asking me to do a video on, and that is TradingView platform. So this video is going to cover the TradingView platform and how you can use it as a trader to do your analysis and also to trade. I'll be taking you to the chat and then show you how to customize TradingView and then use it to trade. But before we do that, let me say this. TradingView is a platform that is given to you as a trader. Now, they have the free package and then the paid package. The pro package is the same as the paid package. Now, if you are new to TradingView and you are signing up for the first time, you'll be given the paid package for free to use for 30 days, which is one month. And after the 30 days, the platform will ask you to upgrade yourself by paying some amount of money. Now, in case you may not be able to afford that upgrade or the payment they are asking you to do, then after the 30 days, you'll be restricted. They will restrict some of the features that you can use on the platform. You'll be restricted from using some of the paid features that you were allowed or given to use for free. But in case you are cool with the, 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 the features you are seeing on the free package, then what it means is that you can continue to use the free package as long as you want. But in case you feel like you need some of the uh, features on the paid package, then you may have to pay in order to have access to those tools or those features. So I have been using TradingView for quite some time now, but truth be told, I have been using the free package all this while. So I'm going to show you how I have customized my free package and how I use it to do the analysis. Some of the tools you will need on the free package in order to do your analysis. I'm going to show you all that in this video. Now, let me also say this, that TradingView is a platform that is not supported by most brokers. Most bro brokers do not allow you to use TradingView in terms of trading. And if that becomes your case, then what it means is that the broker that you sign up with, you may have to place trades with whatever platform they have available. So what it means is that you can come to TradingView platform and do your analysis. And after you are done with your analysis, you would have to open the trading platform that your broker allows you to use and then use that platform to place your trades. But there are also some brokers that allow you to use the TradingView platform. And if you are having such a broker, then what it means is that you may not have to worry yourself about getting uh, whatsoever. You are good to go if your broker allows you to use TradingView platform. But the truth is that most brokers do not allow uh, the use of TradingView platform as a means of trading. So even if that becomes the case, you still have the tool to use for your analysis. And then once you get your analysis right, you can log into your MT4 or your, M your MT5 or whatever platform that your broker may want you to use to place your trades. Then you can go ahead and use it to place your trades. Is that okay? So whether your broker supports trading view or not, the platform is still very useful for the purpose of analysis. Is that okay? Good. Now, the last thing I will say about trading view before I take you straight to um, the chat to show you step-by-step -step, uh, guidelines or customization. What I want to say is that trading view can be downloaded on your PC and then you can use the app or you can also use the browser version, which is your browser or internet version. And whether the internet or browser version or the downloaded app, all is still the same. So you may not have to worry whether you are using the app itself 
whether you've downloaded the app itself or you have just logged onto your browser to use it. Any of these ways are still cool, so you have no problem. Okay, now, there are more to tell you about TradingView, but I think it is time for us to go to the chat so that we look at TradingView together. So let me take you straight to the chat and then we look at it. So uh, this is TradingView platform, the welcome page. But in case you, you just want to use it, this is on the browser. I am using Chrome. So Chrome, this is what you will get, okay? Now, you may just have to open a new window and type in trading view, all right? Once you type in trading view, then you click uh, trading view to load. Um, just hoping that it will load quickly and then we can look at it from that perspective. Is that okay? So let's wait and see once it loads. Now, it has just finished loading. So once it loads like this, you click on this. And then you see, this is the welcome page that you will see, okay? Now, once you get to this, it is the same as what I have over here. So these are the two windows, all displaying the same thing. Is that okay? Now, uh, for the purpose of you having the whole full screen, I want to mute my camera or put it off so that you can see the full screen of what I want to show you. So I'm putting off my camera, good. Now, when you it, it takes you to this home page, it is important to sign in or get started by logging in or signing up with TradingView. But there are people who may just ignore the, the signing up or the whatsoever, and then they want to head straight to the chat and start using. When you do that, for instance, if I go straight to the chat under products, you see chat. Whatever you are going to draw, in case you don't sign in or sign up with Trading View, and then you go straight to the chat. For instance, I come straight to the chat. So if I come straight to the chat and then I start using it, okay? You see, it's loading the chat. This is the chat. This is the general stuff you will see. Now, if I choose to use this chat without signing up. What it means is that whatever I am going to do, in case I do any drawings or any settings and I close, I close after I'm done, whatever drawings I have made on the chat will not be saved. It means everything will be lost once you close the app or you close the, the window or your browser window, once you close it, every drawing or settings you have done on a currency pair will be lost because you have not signed in or signed up for the platform. But when you sign up for the platform, what it means is that you are going to have access to everything that you might have done on the chat, maybe yesterday, whatever drawings and support and resistance or analysis that you did, when you close your browser and you come back the next day or the next hour to open, it will take you back and give you all those things. Those things will be saved automatically in your trading view. So it is very important that you should sign up for trading view or log into trading view so that whatever you are going to do, the analysis you will do today will not be lost in case you want to revisit it. Is that okay? So that is the advantage of signing up for the platform or logging into the platform over not just logging in, but trying to use the platform by itself. So I'm sure you get the difference now. So this is the platform without signing up. So if we want to customize it, I can show you how to customize it. But first of all, because the signing up is very important, I want us to sign up. So you go to get started at the right-hand side corner at the top here and then you click on get started. Now, when you click on get started, it will ask you to sign up, it's here. But before you sign up, it is giving you the packages that they have. These are monthly. They have the pro package, the pro plus, and then the premium. The pro package comes with uh, a fee of $14.95 every month. 
and the Pro Plus comes with twenty nine point nine five uh, dollars every month, and then the Premium package comes with fifty nine point nine five dollars every month. They all have their benefits. In case you are using the Pro Plan, these are the key benefits you you will get from the Pro Plan below here. So if you look at it, I mean, if you look at the Pro Plan alone, uh, what they are saying is that you will have five indicators per chart. You would also have two charts in one window. You will have 20 server side alerts. The ads that are popping up will be free. I mean, the ads that will be showing on the free package will not show on the paid package. Uh, you will have volume profile indicators, custom time intervals, multiple enhanced watch lists, a bar replay on intraday bars. Now, the bar replay is what most people enjoy, but it is not on the free uh, package. The bar replay is you can cut off uh, maybe last week's uh, 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 bars, and then you do the analysis and you, you replay back. You see it giving you the replay. But on the free version, you can't do that. But on the paid package, you can do that. They also have the pro package. So this one is five indicators per chart, but this one is 10 indicators per chart. You understand the premium package you see 25 indicators per chart so you see the difference are there when you read through you see all the difference and then you choose what will suit you in case you want to officially subscribe to the paid package but for now let's use the free package so let's sign up you click on sign up then you can use your google account to sign up you can use your social media handle twitter or facebook to sign up you can use your Yahoo, your LinkedIn, or whatsoever. But I want us to sign up with a, a Google account. That is what I want to use. I have a lot of them. Let me just use one. So let me just sign up with this one. I mean this one. Let's use this one. So I'm signing up to the platform. All right? I have just signed up or logged in. Now, when you look at the left-hand corner here, you see the L with some kind of uh, logo, green. That is my uh, profile, okay? That is my profile. So if I click on it, you see these are the profile details. League and Coffee, that's my name. So if you want to sign out, you sign out here. But for now, I'm logged in. So that is it. Now this one is logged in. Now that I'm logged in, they are still asking me whether I want to go for. You see that there's difference between the, the logged in price and then the free one, which you did not log in. If you look at it, I don't know if you, you see it. Here now the price has reduced to $10.50 per month. This one has reduced to, this is even the annual package. Monthly package, okay, the monthly package is still the same. The annual ones are also here. So the monthly packages are there, the annual packages are also there. So you choose whichever one you want. Now that we have logged in, we are not choosing any of the paid packages. So now we have logged in. Let me go to the free package here and show you a few things. This one is not logged in, okay? This one here is not logged in, but this one here is logged in, but I haven't gone to the chat yet. So once you log in like this, you come to the product. Under the product, you go to chat. So you click on chat. It will take you to the chat. So you see, these are, you see my, my drawings and the analysis I have done so far on this chart, you see that they are still there. It is because I logged in or sign up. That is why when I logged in again, I'm able to see the previous things that I have done. So if you look at it, you see that previously I did a trade here. I, I took a sell trade here. And so far it is in profit. That's USD JPY. So far it's in profit. And if you look at it, you see the target area and stuff. So this is how advantageous it is if you should sign up or you log into the account okay and everything i'm going to show you in terms of customization will be very important if you sign up but if you don't sign up for the platform when you do any of the customizations and you you clear it off or you close the browser when you open the browser again you need you need to go back and do all the customization which is very stressful so why not just sign in or sign up so that once you do the customization, it will be there for you once and for all. All right, good. Now, because I have been using this already, the customization is set here, but I want us to go to the free package here 
so that I will show you the things and what to do and what not to do. So when you log in for the first time, this is how you see the interface. Is that okay? This is how you see the interface. So what can you do? Below here, you will see some bars. Once you click, you can delete them. You click the volume. So you come to the volume here, it is here. Whatever is on the chart, if you click on it, it will show you the sign here. So once you click on this, you see that the volume is off, it's gone. Good. Again, uh, this watch list you are seeing here was done by me. So let me clear them off because we are going to do everything new. Now, once it shows like this, this time frames you are seeing here is also customized by me. So let me take them off. Let me take them off because that, those are the customizations you will need. So I just have to take them off and show you how I did that. Is that okay? Good. Now, in the first place, what you need to know is that this background is uh, white. You can choose to change this background to any other background you want. They have two main backgrounds, the black one or the dark background or the solid background and then the gradient. This one is the gradient. So I want us to look at a solid background. So you head on to the right hand side here. At the top, they have a menu at the top. They have a menu at the left side, uh, right side here down. And then they have a menu at the left side down. Then they have a menu at the downside here too. So when you go to the menu at the top, to your right, your right side, you see the settings symbol. You click on it. Once you click on the settings symbol, you see the background, you see under appearance, when you come to appearance, you see background. They have the solid and then the gradient. So this is the gradient. If you go to solid and then you click okay. Oh, this background should change. I don't know why, is it because it is the uh, free? Okay, okay, we are good, it's here. So the solid background, you see that the background has changed. If you want it back to the gradient or the white one, you come back here, you click on gradient. You see it? Now it's back to white. But if you click on solid, it comes back to black. You see it? Now, I often love to use the black one. So let's use the black uh, background or the solid background. Now that the solid background is set, the next thing you need to do is to look at the time frames. I want us to bring the time frames that we want to be using. So when you click at the D here, which is the time frame, the day time frame, you click on it, all the time frames available will show. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are able to see what I'm talking about. When you come to the top here, the D here, sometimes maybe when you open yours, it might not be D, it might be M or uh, W or whatsoever. But when you come to the D here, that is where the time frames are. So you click on it, it will pop up like this and give you the time frames that are available. Now, I will want you to set the 15 minutes. So you come to the 15 minutes. At the end of the 15, you will see the add to favorites, the star symbol there. You click on it, you have favorited it. So you see that the 15 minutes has come to add to the D. Now you go and favorite the one hour too. See, the one hour has also come. Then you favorite the four hour. Then you favorite the daily. You favorite the weekly and then the monthly. So once you do this, you are done. So in terms of the time frames, I have the 15 minute, the one hour, the four hour, the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. You can choose yours in, in case this is not what you want. Any time frame that you want to bring, you, you can bring that here. Are we good? If you want indicators, the chart to here are the type of, we have the bar chart, the candle, and all the others, they are all here. So the bar and candle, currently it is on candles, so we leave it on candles. And then the indicators are here. If you click on the indicators, let me click on it first. Yes, if you click on it like this, the pop-up will come. And then we have technical indicators. Uh, we have strategies volume profile, auto candlesticks patterns. So those who are looking for the patterns, the doji star and the rest, the engulfing and all of them, they are already customized here. So if you need them, 
yours is to just click to put it on the chart and it will show you where a currency is engulfing or uh, there's an evening doji star or morning doji star, whatsoever. All of them are here. So this is how beautiful the, uh, I mean, trading view platform can be. So the financial market, we have them, the tools here, the community script. The community script aspect is other traders that have customized their indicators and they have left them on the chart for you. So tools that other traders are using are all here for you to use. There are millions of tools by other traders that are all available here for you to use. So that is also another good thing about this uh, community script. So if you want to put out an indicator, you just double click on the indicator and it will appear. Now, for now, we are not going to put any indicator on the chart. Let's continue. Now, if you look at here, you see a menu here. Let me pick it so that you can see. You see this menu I'm dragging? It is not on the chart. I brought it there. So I want to show you how you can bring it here. The first one you are seeing is the trend line. So when you come to the left side menu here, the first tool at the top here is some kind of cross. So you need a cross. So you click on it, you see, then you, 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 you favorite the cross, only the cross. You favorite the cross. So when you come here, you see the cross in the middle here. This is the cross here on the chart because I favorited it. So these are the tools you will need. So you favorite the cross. Then when you are done, you come to the next tool here, trend lines, you click on it. There are a lot of trend lines, but you need to favorite the trend line, the first one, you favorite it. Then the arrow, you favorite that one too. Then the horizontal ray, you favorite that one too. Is that okay? These three are very important. You favorite them and they will be added like you are seeing here. They will be added here automatically for you when you favorite them. Now, after this one, you come down straight to this part, which has to do with uh, calculating take profit and stop loss. So you right click on this and then you favorite the long position and then you favorite the short position. It's very, very important. So you favorite these two. So if you look at it here, the first one is here, the second one is also here. So you favorite the long position and then the short position. You favorite them, it's very important. I think then you come to this brush that you are seeing here, you click on the brush issue and then you favorite the brush. So if you look at here, you see the brush also here. So you favorite it. And then you come to the T here, you click on the T and then you favorite the call out. The call out, you favorite it, call out, favorite. So that will be the tools you will need to help you trade as a Forex trader using the trading view. So these are the tools we have here. So now let's see how we can use these tools. Now, before we even use these tools, there's also a side menu at the right hand side here. The first one you see here is a watch list. So if you click on it, you see that the watch list will appear. So when the watch list appears, there are sometimes some menus at the down. So these menus will be there when you sign up for the, at the first time. So when these menus are there, all you need to do is you click here. When the arrow shows this, you drag it down. You drag it down, drag it down, and hide them. Those ones are not needed. You only need the watch list. So at the watch list area here, this is where you can line up all the uh, currency pairs you want to be trading. So if you click on the plus here, you see at the watch list here, there's a plus. So if you click on the plus, it will show you the pairs that are available. They have stocks, they have features, they have Forex, they have crypto, they have indices, bonds, and then economy. We want to concentrate on Forex, so we'll go to Forex. Now, under Forex, they will give you all the currency pairs from brokers that support or uh, support a, a trading view or brokers that allows you to use trading view platform. They will give you the currency code from those brokers. So if you look at here, you see Forex FXCM, you see Oanda as a broker. You see the currency pairs from Oanda. 
Uh, you see currency pairs from other brokers. Okay. Forex.com is also a broker that supports, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, trading view. So they, they give you the feed from that. Uh, let's see if there are more. There are a lot of brokers, a lot of them. But if you keep scrolling down, you see, huh, you see some of them here. You see more X. So more X is also a broker that supports uh, uh, this platform, which is trading view. When you continue, so you see IDX, it's also uh, IDC. It's also, so a lot of them, the brokers are so many. So the advice I want to give to you is that when you are choosing the currency pairs, choose the currency pairs from one broker. So if you want to use the currency pairs of FXCM, make sure that all the currency pairs you put in the watch list will be from FXCM. If you want to use the currency pairs from Oanda, make sure that all the currency pairs you are using are from Oanda. Is that okay? So for instance, let's say I want to put the Euro pairs at the watch list. So I'll type Euro and then I want to use Oanda. I want to use the currency pairs from Oanda broker. So Euro USD from Oanda, the plus here, add to the watch list. I'll click on it. You see that it's added to the watch list. And the Euro JPY, I add. Oanda Euro GBP, I add. I go down. Euro AUD from Oanda, I will add. Euro CAD, I will add. Euro Chef, I will add. Euro NZD, I will add. So these are the major ones, but there are also minor pairs in case you want to use them. Euro ZA and the rest. But I want to stick to the, uh, the major ones. So if I close this, you see that the Euro pairs have been lined up here nicely. So once they line up here nicely, what you need to do is that if you need Euro USD to be on the chart, all you need to do is click on Euro USD and you see Euro USD will appear on the chart. So nice, isn't it? Good. If you need Euro JPY, you just have to click on Euro JPY and you see this is Euro JPY to appear on the chart. So nice. Euro GBP, you just click, it will show here. Euro AUD, you just click, it will show. Euro card, you just click and it will show. Euro Chef, you just have to click and it will show. Uh, Euro NZD, you just have to click, you see. So now these are the Euro pairs. Let's add some few more pairs and continue. So you go back to the plus and then let's add GBP, GBP. Don't forget we are adding currency pairs from Rwanda. So GBP USD from Rwanda, GBP JPY from Rwanda, uh, GBP AUD from Rwanda. Um, yes, GBP card. GBP Chef, GBP NZD. So these are the GBP pairs from Oanda. So you see that they've also been added. So if I want GBP USD, I click on it. GBP USD is showing. GBP JPY is showing. GBP AUD is showing. GBP card is showing. You just click and then. So that is how you add all the currencies that you'll be trading to the watch list. Are we good? Now, once you put all of them at the watch list, sometimes you can hide the watch list. If you want to hide the watch list and see a bigger screen, you can just come and click on the watch list here and then it will disappear, it will hide. It's not as if it's gone, it's there. Anytime you come back to click on the watch list here, you see it will uh, pop up again. If you want to hide it, you click on it, it will go back in. You see that? It's so beautiful. Now, let's continue. You want to now do your analysis. You need these tools that I have asked you to favorite, to use them for your analysis. So for instance, if you want to draw a trend line, you just click on the trend line tool here, and then you can, you can just draw your trend line. See it? Then when you get to where you want, you leave it. Now, when you finish using the tool, you come and click on the cross sign to release that tool from working. So anytime you click on the cross sign to release that tool from working, you see it? So you always need the cross tool to release you from other tools that you are using. So our trend line, if you want to modify, you just click and drag, click and drag, or maybe you come and hold the end here, then you drag, you just drag. When you reach where you want, that is it. You are good. Is that not it? If you want to use the trend line again, you click on it, you come, you use it the way you want. You click, you use it the way you want. Is that okay? You click and use it the way you want. So any which way you want to use the trend line to, it's as easy as ABCD. 
Now, if you want to delete this, or maybe you don't want the color yellow to use, you can modify this. All you need to do is to click on the, the tool. It will ask you to change the color. You come here, you can change the color to whatever color you want. Say if it is red, you see that the, the line has changed to a color. So whatever color you want to use, you can change it. Now, if you don't need this line totally, you just come and you click on the dustbin here, remove. You click, it is gone. So easy, huh? So you click on this line. If you don't need it, you just click on the dustbin here, it is gone. If you don't need this, you just click on it. You come back and click on the dustbin, it is gone. So easy, right? So that is the trend line tool. Now, we also have the brush tool. Let me talk about the brush tool. Maybe you, you want to circle the whole of this. So you can use the brush tool to circle or to draw whatever you want to draw. So if you want to draw something, if you don't need the color, you can also change the color to whatever color you want. You see it? So nice. So the brush is also there to use for drawings, to circle, do whatever, draw lines, do whatever. So you can use the brush to do all that. If you want to delete it, all you need to do is to just click on whatever you have drawn, click on it, you delete. But that will be after you have clicked on the brush to release the brush tool from working. Then you come and click, and then on the tools, then you just delete them if you don't need them. And you can change the color just as I have shown to you. So nice, right? Good. We also have the arrow. The arrow one is in case you want to show that it's an uptrend. You just use the arrow. All right, that is the work of the arrow. If you want to show that it's a downtrend, you just use the arrow. The good thing about the arrow too is that you can change the colors if you want. Whatever color you want to use, you can just change it. Is that okay? So you see it, you can change the colors to whatever color. If you don't need it, you just right click on it and delete. Right click on it and delete. Is that okay? Now we also have the horizontal ray. That is if you want a, a support area or resistant area. So you want to draw a support. This is a support line. This is maybe a resistant line you want to draw. You just come and click on the horizontal. Then you click, you see it is there. So, so easy. Whatever you want to draw, you can use the horizontal line to do all that. Is that okay? So that is also another good thing about this. All right. There's something I almost forgot. Let me go back to it and show you. So the horizontal lines, you can change the colors and do whatever you want. Is that okay? Now, there's something I almost forgot. Let me, let me show you that, okay? Now, this tool that you are seeing, the dark color that you are seeing here, sometimes if you go back to the settings, there is this grid lines that I have muted. I have to show you. Sometimes when you are starting, you may not see it like this. There are some lines here, the vertical grid line. When you click on the, the area here, you see the opacity, I have decided to close it off. If I bring it back, you will see that there are some lines that have just appeared on the chart horizontally. The same way if I come back to the settings again, and then I come to the next one, which is the horizontal, the vertical grid line, the horizontal grid line. If I click on it, the opacity you are seeing here, if I bring it back, you will see that the lines have shown in the chart. Especially if you want to see the lines well, if you go to the gradients, you see the lines? You see that there are some lines on the chart. If you don't need those lines, you need to just come to the vertical grid lines. You click on it here. Then the opacity, you bring it from 900% to zero. And then you click OK. You see that those lines are gone. You come back again. The horizontal lines, to you do the same thing. You drag it from 900 to zero. You click OK. You see that those lines have disappeared. So that is also another thing I needed to show you. All right. So let's continue. I'm sure you are loving this. If you are loving what we are doing here, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also hit the notification bell so that anytime we post a new video, you'll be the first to receive it. And also make sure you like our video to show it to more people. Once you like our video, what we are telling YouTube is that the videos are good. So they should show it to more people. And I'm sure our videos are good. So you want to do that. Thank you for doing that. And thank you for subscribing. God bless you. Now, let's continue. There's also another tool here. So whatever time frame you want, yours is to just click on the time frame. And then the chart will change to that very time frame. OK? Now I'm on the one hour. I'm, OK, is that my internet? OK, this is the one hour chart. So this is the four hour chart. If you want to change to the four hour chart, my internet is a bit slow, but I'm clicking on the four hour chart. Uh, still on the one hour. Let's see that. 
it will quickly open to the one hour chat. Okay, so this is the one uh, four hour chat. This is the one hour chat. Let me go back to one hour. This is the daily chat. This is the four hour. This is the one hour. This is the 15 minute chat. You see all the chats. So if you need a watch list, you just bring the watch list. You click on the pair that you want to check on. You check on that and do whatever you want to do. See how nice it is? Good. Now let's continue. Let's continue. So from this point onwards, uh, what else can I show you? Uh, what I want to show you, uh -huh. so let's continue, yes. There are a few more things. Let's assume that um, you want to set a, a buy or a sell trade. If you want to set a sell trade, this is uh, for short. The short position tool here is for sell trade. You click on it. Wherever you want to place your sell trade, you click on that place, and then you see this pop up. Is that OK? Now, let me take this thing. OK, sorry. Uh, let me take this here. Let me draw this thing back to this side so that you can see whatever I'm doing here. Another nice thing about this tool is that you can come to this chart, drag it down like this. You see it? You can drag it down like this to kind of minimize the chart. And then there's also a plus and minus sign here. The minus is to close it. You see, the minus is to close it. And then the plus here is to widen the chart. And then the currency area here, I think there should be price over here, but I don't know. If I go to the sign in area, good. So the sign in area, you see that there are, there are prices over here. So that is the difference. This one is not signed in. So that's why the price area is not showing. But I like it, the way the price area is not showing. It is helping me to show you these prices that are showing in colors. You understand? So it's good. It's good I opened the two. Now, if you want to zoom in and out, so this is where you click. You click at the price area, then you drag. When you drag, it will minimize it and then widen it. You see it? Good. And then the plus and minus, the minus is to close it up. And then the plus is to widen it. Okay? And you can click on the chart and drag it also to wherever area you want. If you want to go back, that is how beautiful the trading view platform can be. But if you are using the MT4 or MT5, you cannot drag the chart like this backwards. Whilst the market is still on, you cannot do it. But trading view, you can drag the chart forward and backwards, which is very, very nice. So you see the advantage and the reason why most people want to use the trading view. Good. Now let's continue. So let me go back to the free part. So I was trying to show you a sell trade. Now, when you click on this, there are two most important colors on this chart. The red portion has to do with your stop loss because you are selling. So because you are sell selling, your stop loss is up. So the tool will help you to do that settings. So you don't need to worry yourself. Now, the whole area here, when you look at it, okay, let me drag it up so that you can really see it well. Now, okay, let me go away from, uh, let me go away from the, the chart. Let me go to a plain chart like this. You see how you can drag to get a plain chart. That is how beautiful uh, the trading view platform can be. So this is uh, for the sell. If you are selling, the price, the entry price is the middle line here between the, the green line and the red line. The middle line there is where you actually enter the sell. So if you want the price, when you come to... Uh, the right side of, uh, side of the price, you see the price. So this is the entry price. That is the line, the middle line you are seeing here between the, the red and then the green. So that is the price you are seeing here. So if you are looking for entry price, it is easy to see the entry price here, which is uh, Euro AUD, the entry price is 1.49053. You see that? Good. Now, the top line, the end of the red, the end of the red is the stop loss price. The stop loss. Now, this stop loss, if you look at here, you will see a figure. Do you see it? Look at where I am drawing the arrow downwards. If you look at here, you will see a figure, which is 54.8. So the 54 is telling you that it is 54 pips. So it means your stop loss from the entry to the top here is 54. And the 54 pips, this is the price. 
So assuming your stop loss, you don't want it to be 54. Maybe you want it to be 20. All you just need to do is to come to the box box at the ends here. So this one, you click at the box here and hold, then you drag downwards. So once you are dragging downwards, you see that the pips is reducing. Now it's at 39, 36, 35, in that order, to 34, 32, 30, 29, 27, 26, 25. Then you bring it down to the 20 pips. So this 19.9. So we want 20 pips. So 20, 20.7. 20 so this is 20 pips. This is 20 pips. So the 20 pips stop loss, the price of the 20 pips is, this is the price. One point, that's the red portion. 1.49260. So from the entry price to the top price here is 20 pips. Now the down one here is your take profit. Now the take profit is 228 pips. So if 228 pips is too much, depend on whatever will be your take profit. Assuming you want to give your take profit 50 pips, you come and hold that box, the last box at the down here, you click and you begin to drag it back. You see that the pips is calculating, reducing. 160, 150, 40, 30, 22, going below 100, 90 something, 80. Then you come to 50, you want 50 pips. So you go back up to 50 pips. So 61, 60, 59, 54, 53, 51, 49, 50. So this is your 50 pips take profit and then 20 pips stop loss. So the blue, oh, sorry, the green price you are seeing here is your take profit because it is a sell. This is your take profit. This is your stop loss. This is your entry. So easy to do it, right? It's so easy to help you do that. So this is for sell trade. So if you want to change the colors, assuming the green and red, you don't want it. All you just need to do is to click on this. Then you come to this pop-up list. You see some kind of uh, colors here. You click on this, you change. If the green you don't want and want to change it to maybe a different color, maybe blue, you click on blue. You see that the color has changed to blue. The red one too, if you don't need that, you can change from red to maybe yellow, if it's yellow you want. You see it's now red and, uh, sorry, yellow and then blue. So you can do the changes whatsoever and customize it the way you want. Then if you don't need it, you just click and then you delete from the chart. That is for the sell. So that is for short positions. Now, long position is for buy. If you want to enter a buy, you click on the long position tool here. You click at your entry price. And then you can drag your take profit to the top, drag your stop loss to the down. When you are done, the prices are there. So the yellow area here is your stop loss. So if you want to change the colors, the yellow back to red or pink, you can do that. Now I have changed this one to red. So this becomes your stop loss price. The blue line here, because this area, the take profit area is blue. So the blue uh, price here is your take profit. Let's see what the take profit is. The stop loss is 106 pips because this is the pips. If you put on it, you see the pips, 106. The take profit is uh, 136. So assuming the stop loss is too much, you want to drag, you come, you click on the box here, you drag it back to the 76. Let's say your stop loss will be 50. So 54, 52, 50, 50 pips. And then you'll take profit to maybe 136. You want to make it 100. So drag it back to 115, 110, 118, 16, 14, 12, 11, 100. So this is 100 pips. 100 pips take profit, 50 pips stop loss. So easy. So the prices are here. All you need is to just copy these prices and then you go and put it in your MT4 or your MT5. So this is how easy you can use these tools to calculate your take profit and stop loss so easily. So whatever pair you are trading, this is on Euro AUD. So whatever pair you are trading, this is how easy you can do all this. Is that good? Now, let me finish this up with the last two here. This one is the call out. The call out tool is used in case you want to type something. Okay. So let's say, okay, let me close it. Let me close this and do something. First, let me say, I want to do this. Okay. Let's say I have placed this trade. Okay. So I want to show you that the blue area here is take profit. So I can come and use the call out to, I put it here. Then I type in this. 
take profit and then i click okay so you see oh come on the writings didn't come well take okay good so you see it i have written take profit so i'm telling you that this blue area here is take profit and then let's say i want to tell you that the green uh, the red area is also stop loss so i just type i do a call out then i type stop loss then i click okay so if i want to change the stop loss one to a different color i can change it maybe i want to make it yellow so you see you see how you can use these tools to make your chart very beautiful. <laughs> yes, that is how beautiful you can use the trading view platform to do things. If this color too is not something you want, you can change the color to maybe whatever color you want. You see it? So you can always do these changes as and when you want or the need rises. You see? So this is how beautiful you can use these tools to do your one or two and stuff. Now, let me show one more thing and end. Let me delete these ones. Let me delete all of this. I don't want this video to be too long. So let me almost end. So let me bring back the chart. The chart is back here. Now, there is a tool here called replay. So this replay tool is what you cannot use on the free version. This replay tool, you cannot use it. With a replay tool, if I click on it, I can come and select here. You see, they are asking me to go for the pro package because the replay tool is for the premium or the pro or the pro plus. So you cannot use the replay tool for free. You may have to pay. So if suppose I was using the replay tool, I can use to cut off uh, the chart from here off. Then once I do replay, I can increase the speed and then I play and then it will be appearing. It will just be appearing like that again, you see it. So that's the replay tool, but you cannot use that replay tool on the free version. You get it? Good. Now, these are the basic things or customizations you need to do because you have your watch list here. So you can add them, the pairs and do whatever you want. That one, it is something you can easily do. So the replay tool is there for you to do whatever you want to do. Uh, the replay tool, you can use it, like I said, but any other thing you want to do, you can customize and do. So these are the customizations you will need as a trader. These are the customizations you will need. So once you do all these customizations, uh, you will have yours like mine. So this is my here. And like I was telling you, that is my tool here, which I use for trading. So you see, whatever you do on the chat, it will still be safe for you. Any day, any time, when you come, you can have access to it, you see? So the previous things I've done is all available. All this analysis and stuff, you can do it anytime you come back to the trading view, you come back, your, your, your chart is there for you. Everything will be intact. It will be saved. So you need to sign up or sign in so that whatever customization you are going to do will be saved. Is that okay? Now, I'm sure you have enjoyed this lesson, but in case there is any other thing that you think I should have talked about that I didn't talk about, please alert me or let me know, okay? If there's any other thing on the TradingView platform that is bothering you, you want me to talk about, please leave a comment on the video and I'll come back and address that. My name is Kofi, your admin for this channel. I'll see you in another video. Until then, take very good care of yourself and be good.